Hi, and welcome back to Working Project Title, uh, an ongoing lesson in knowing one's limitations. So, uh, yeah, this is a blind playthrough of Elden Ring, and uh, for those of you who don't know, this would be an interesting episode to start on. Um, but, yeah, I mean, speaking of if you're just starting, if you're just joining us, I was just going through our little travel log, you know, remembering all the places we've been. We started off in this little cave here, or this, this mausoleum. We came out, we, uh, we found this little, this little church, we found... Uh, Kelle, our little buddy there, uh, who sells us nice things, and we, uh, we followed it all the way up to the gatefront ruins at the foothills of, uh, the, the castle of, of, of Godric the, the Grafted. Um, but then we decided to take in the surrounding climbs, you know, we went a little this way, a little that way, and we, uh, we went our way to the Dragonburnt ruins, which sent us all the damn way over here, and that's where we are now. Um... Yeah, lesson learned. But, uh, another lesson for you. We do not fast travel in this family. Uh, so, yeah, we, we, got a, we got a journey ahead of us today. That's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be exploring all the way back to where we came from with an eye towards taking in the lands between on our way and just sort of uh, learning more about this world. Because I got to tell you, I don't like this part of it. Uh, as you saw, if you watched the half episode between this one and the previous one, uh, we did sort of mine out this cave, so to speak, for uh, the valuable materials that lay within. Uh, we haven't properly defeated that dungeon by any stretch of the imagination, but we got a lot of stuff here. So this has been a profitable, if very unpleasant, little vacation into the realms of poison and madness. Um, if we touch the water, we die. If we encounter the monsters, we die. Uh, yeah. That's life. But we're not going to stay here. We're going away. We're done with this place for now. Uh, we, I'm sure, will come back here at some point in our lives. And, you know, we're not forgetting that it exists. But heaven knows. Uh, there's a whole world out there. Oh, yeah. One thing I'll show you guys. Uh, one thing I did off camera. I was playing around a little bit with uh, with how dual wielding works in this game. Uh, so now I've got a little sword in my offhand. There's a whole, gives me a whole other move. Uh, yeah, we're going to play around with, that, around with that a little bit today, possibly. Uh, although we'll see how much we're actually going to be like stopping and confronting... The monsters that we fight because especially in this little area here uh our plan is just to kind of get out of here i know that there's like a gate i don't really know how to get there because last time i just teleported there because i died oh hey it's another branch of the tree oh <laughs> sorry <laughs> uh it's another branch of this tree i hope i'm not gonna get ambushed while i do this a golden seed oh well that will let us enhance our goddamn thingy, won't it? Our, our, our flask. Wow. Wow. All the things that you get for ending up in places where you don't really belong. Uh. Alright. Oh, actually, this is a fun idea. Uh, oh, can't, can I not summon them anymore? What happened to my, my wolves? That one won't activate. This one will. Huh. Did I lose my lone wolves for some reason? What about my wizard? He still works. Just not the wolves. Possibly I don't have enough um, mana, although I doubt it. Uh, what I've been finding is that these guys really cost way less mana than you'd think. Maybe I just can't summon in them, summon them in this area for some reason? Um, I kind of wanted them to ride alongside my horse. I don't think my little uh, walking posse is going to be able to keep up. Excuse me, excuse me. Yoink. Poison grease. Excuse me. Uh, the exit to this town should be somewhere to its, like, southerly end, I believe. Excuse me. Excuse me. Ow, 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 ow. Whoa. There goes Torrent. And there goes me? Nope. I'm good. Is this an exit to this town? I'm trying to go in the southerly direction. Yes, here we go. I'm, I didn't actually use the gate. I went around it, but whatever. I got out. Uh... So am I going to need to use one of my healing things to resummon Torrent? I might. No, I didn't. Okay. I guess I got dismounted by damage, but Torrent didn't die. I'm not sure what the difference between those things are. Uh, yeah, this guy's fun, but we're uh, we're not fighting him this time. I'm not trying to. Now let's find out if this lookout from above thing is going to be... Oh, that was just a joke. There's nothing here. I mean, there's a bug. Not really afraid of that. Uh, okay, so this is more of those obnoxious chainsaw robot guys. I'm, yeah. 
Hello. That's what the locals are like here. So yeah, these blighted lands seem to go on for a while, don't they? Uh, so yeah, our, our, our destination here is kind of in a south-southwesterly direction, as you saw when we looked at the map. I don't know what that is. Are those things close behind me? Whoa! What in the name of God? Oh, hey, there's a guy up there. <laughs> Whoa, all right. Um, yeah, okay, okay, okay. No new fires. <laughs> Oopsie. All right, uh, we'll be right back. Um, I'm going to pause until I get back to that position. All right. You return to us getting past the city of, of spell ghosts. I, uh, I don't know. I just bolted through it. Figured I could cut down on a little bit of the return journeying in this episode, just a tiny bit. I wouldn't want to rob you of any deaths or anything, so I'm not going to do too much of that. Huh. Glass shard. Don't really know what that is, but I'll figure that out later, because apparently I am under fire here, and I want to just keep on moving. Yeah, here, here, I hear him. Serpentine, don't don't be too predictable. Uh, there's my souls, although I don't think there were very many of them. Excuse me. Oh, okay, they hit at the branch. What are those things on the mountain, though? I really want to slow down and look at them. What what is that? It's like an enormous bird. They're enormous birds. Okay. Uh, oh, hey, is that uh one of Calais? I think it is. He mentioned that we would probably meet people of his tribe or whatever on the road. And, uh, looks like this guy's got kind of a similar setup. Uh, actually, sorry, I just realized. Oh, I've already done it. Okay, I already unequipped my... I like being able to sheathe my sword. One, uh, pet peeve. That they, I thought I would keep waiting for the, the From game where they fix this. When I sheathe my sword, my scabbard disappears. It's kind of dumb. I don't know. Anyway. It's been true in all of them, I think. Didn't expect dog. I don't know what you're talking about. That's it? Alright. I don't know. Buying, I guess. What do you got? Nomadic Warrior Cookbook 15. Rotbone Arrow. Rotbone Arrow Fletched. Rotbone Bolt. Hmm. Uh, do you sell Rotbone Arrows? You don't. So I don't really know what those are. I assume that they do poison or do crimson rot. A note sold by a nomadic merchant. Contains information about advantageous use of gravity. Uh. Okay. I mean, I... I have the gravity rocks. I'm aware of them. Is that all it's going to tell me, or is it going to tell me how to use them more usefully than I already knew? Um, cool, you sell gear I've never found. No new weapons or anything. You do sell a stone sword key, which I assume are a limited commodity. Um, okay, but that's, that's it. I don't really need anything you have. It's nice to see a friendly-ish face. Uh, you didn't mention a name. Do you have a name? Not finished yet. Uh, you're just nomadic yeah. merchant. Okay, yeah, bye. Fair enough. Uh, huh, what's this? Ooh, it's got a thing. Map! Oh, okay, so this is the first time that we found one of these map stalas. It mentioned this during the tutorial. So this is Kaled. I think we saw that introductory somewhere. Uh, we're pretty close to the Erd Tree, actually. This corruption is right next to the Erd Tree, eh? I guess that shows how bad things are getting. Or is this one of the less... No, that's definitely the big one. We're pretty close, I think. I think it's just over there, right? Like, over the next kind of couple of mountains. It's not like I'm going to try to get any closer to it right now, but... Interesting to know. Uh, Alright, let's not get close to the enormous bird. Something tells me that's uh, that's an encounter that I'm not gonna... I'm gonna be really... Uh, well equipped for... Uh, yeah, all right. Let's just let's just li ride lazily down the road here. So let's check the map. How far have we got? a new map has been found? Caleb. Hey, so for the first time, we've actually got like a properly filled in map. So we still haven't really found the map from where we started. Um, Celia Gateway, Celia Town of Sorcery. Yeah, we were just there. Celia Crystal Tunnel, which is I guess where the Town of Sorcery mined their magic crystals. This is the nomadic merchant we just met. This is some sort of something, but I'm not going to go there. Is this the Erd Tree? Where is the Erd Tree? It seems like it's... Which direction is it from me? It's north. Uh, so it's... Is this the Erd Tree, or is it... Might have been north of that place. Might have been over here. I didn't actually catch whether... I probably haven't gone around it, so it was probably behind me to begin with. It's probably on the other side of the mountain I was going to be in. 
Uh, whatever, I don't need a single rune. I'm not getting off my horse for it. Uh, can summon here again. Oh, I can get the wolves again. To my side, wolves. I mean, come on. I, we're in dangerous country. This is not cheating. I don't know who I'm arguing with. Myself. My own. <gasps> Ooh. Uh-oh. Just, just, yeah. Yeah. On torrent. Yeah. Like the wind. Decaying exiques. Uh, oh, is that a fire? That's an interesting place for a fire. I don't really feel safe getting this fire right now. Uh, are you still chasing me? The music seems to imply you might still be chasing me. I need to... Uh, I can't really maneuver torrent and look backwards at the same time. Um, I can ride backwards. I don't have like a rear view mirror on this thing. Are you turning back? I feel like you might be giving up. Yeah, you're giving up. Oh, I think I'm angering something else though. Going this way. What made that sound? Oh, it's more of those clockwork guys. Oh, and they have a dog. Was it clockwork guys? It's something. And a dog. I'm gonna get off my horse and kill this dog. I don't think I'm. I don't think I can't kill a dog. Hello, a dog. Are you are you done chasing me, dog? What? Who, who who are you with? You are with those robot guys. I think those are those robot guys. Oh no! It's more of those horrible quicksilver er, silverfish men. Okay. I I just want to get the fire over there, dude. All right. I think he's gonna back up. <laughs> Am I going to be short-circuiting, like, the golden path here? I think I see golden tendrils, but, like, I am way off the golden path. Is this... I mean, presumably at some point the golden path would be taking me through here. Can I sort of inter... Can I... Can I see the multiple parts of the golden path? Is that, is that how that works? Seems like it might be. Lost Grace discovered! Yay! Uh, we don't actually need any flasks or anything. <laughs> Dragon is pretty close. Uh, doop -doop 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 -doop. Just going this way, Mr. Dragon. I have an anti-dragon salve I can put on my weapon. I bet that would make that encounter just so easy. Haha. <laughs> Alright, bye! Um, Alright, so where are we now? We're, uh, we're going this way. The Golden Light wants us to go in exactly the opposite direction, but uh, what are you talking about, Golden Light? Get real. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not interested in your bullshit right now, the golden light. Oh, right, these guys. I'm, I'm going to try to avoid the road for a second, because their ranged attack is just baller. Uh, oh, hey, there's a statue of America here. Do I want to kind of check out this waypoint ruin? Uh, oh, no, I don't. Oh, no, it's just overrun with these dudes. Jesus. I guess at some point I'm going to have to treat these guys as a casual enemy, but, like, not now. Alright, bye. Um, so yeah, we're going almost due north now, but I guess that's okay. I have to circumnavigate this water. I kind of want to cut west as soon as I can, but it looks like this road will do that. Oh, avoiding the road again. Okay, we're well past that patrol. Oh, looks like another fire. Ah, oh, look at that. We're taking in so much of the world here. I mean, briefly. Hmm, these walls are smoldering. What's up with that? Let's dismount. Light this fire. Or touch this site of lost grace. I'm not really sure what I'm doing when I do that. Uh, and yeah, check out this weird smoldering building. What's up? Is that a person? You look like you might be a person. Who are you? Hello. Yeah, hi. There's a, a little man. Little little person. Excuse me, I can't... No idea. A little creature. You. Please. I can read them. Huh? Your fingers. Please, your fingers. Uh... Yeah, I, I mean, so far, witches, they don't they didn't mean nothing but good. Also, I don't... Seem to have an option. I guess I can press back. There was no, like, re refuse hands. Are you one for festivals or flowers? Is that a binary choice or? The South, a grand festival to make the stars turn. To make the stars 
turn. To the east, a heart and bud of a flower to be. Uh, flower. But there you enter into the heart of the scarlet rot. Am I going to get some sort of sickness from you now or something? <laughs> you seem unclean. Uh, well, I've talked to you once. Oh, uh, we've, we've done this. I'm going to go. Uh, <laughs> that's enough of that. So, why is this whole wall on fire? Is it to keep out the scarlet rot? Is this side of it not scarlet rotted? So... To the south and to the east. To the south, a festival. And to the east, a bud of a flower. Huh. Okay. Well, all of this for later days, I'm sure. Oh, hey, look, a telescope. I love these things. Uh,. So yeah, let's look back upon Kalid, the land of horrible rot. Uh, yeah. Could be better. So, uh, so... It seems like the Erd Tree itself is not in Kalid. Okay, it is outside of it, over there. Or it's not seemingly in this realm of rot. And it does seem like this flaming wall is, like, nominally holding it back, although I can see there's some, some on this side of it. But I assume that that's what it's for. Huh. Okay, so... I don't know when this corruption arrived, who put this wall up to try to stop it, and whether it's still working. But, uh... All of these things... New questions. Now, that's a... That's a fun little tower, and I'm really strongly inclined to go check it out. But, like, uh... We've already done enough, like, going and checking out places that we don't belong, right? Oh, let's have a peek. We can't spend this whole this whole journey just like ignoring things that we pass by. Let's have a little peek and see what that tower's about. Yeah. Uh giant dogs. Bunch of giant dogs. Uh oh. People? Eh. Vibes indeterminate, but trending negative. Uh, I think I can get through here without these dogs attacking me, though. And, uh, yeah, I'm curious about that, uh, that tower over there. Who lives here? Anybody? Right on the verge of Doomland? Hmm, I could summon ghosts here. That's fun. I don't know what happens if I touch it, but I think it's bad. Uh, you have a horn, which I know is a thing. Okay, so this is the fort of some enemies. I'm going to figure that out some other day, I'm sure. Whoa! Wow! That guy's dynamite! Huh. <laughs> wow. Is that just what people do in terms of damage around here? Or is that guy, like, special? I feel, I mean, that, that bow is pretty, pretty noisy in terms of its big, colorful explosion, so I feel like he had to be a little special. Uh, but okay, that's what that tower's like. Uh, I mean, this, we're, 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 we're zero souls here, practically. I, I didn't check if we're actually zero at the start of this episode. I can't remember if we picked up a few last time, but not enough to matter. Uh, uh-oh. Go, posse, go! <laughs> Get him! I don't know what their deal is, but I don't like them. I'm gonna let these guys be my ablative. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. See, we're learning things. This is why you you send an investigative feeler. Yeah, don't you dare. Okay, I'm just gonna give you some ground. Yeah, that's fine, honestly. Probably gonna lose a lot of my posse this way. Oh, ow, I picked that one. I thought I was far enough. <laughs> uh, okay, can I just... Uh, actually, this is a perfect time for... Oh, never mind. He's doing it himself. 
Okay. Well, <laughs> thanks again, Posse. <laughs> All right. This. I'm sorry. That's a part of this playthrough. I love it too much. It's too funny. It's it's weird though that I can only do it like sometimes and in certain places. So it's really not something I can rely on in any level. What is that? What what is that? Oh, it's just a skull. Ha <laughs> ha. Pending. Jumping at shadows. What are, what are you what are you what are you scared of? It's a skull. Uh, you see a million of those a day. Okay. Maybe we should be hopping back on our horseback. But you know, when you get to a town, you kind of want to stop and take in the scenery. Uh, yeah, a lot of on-fire people. Honestly, these are the least scary enemies I've encountered since arriving in the hell lands. Uh, I'm just going to run away because I can hear one of you guys about to go off and I don't know where exactly you are. Um, okay, so uh, am I safe enough to check my map real quick? Where am I going here? I want to I wanna go due west. Any more north is too much north. Uh, I might just hop on horseback and try to cut it. It does seem like the, the road loops northwest, so maybe that's what I should be doing rather than getting creative. Because God knows there might be another cliff or something. Eh, I think I see a pretty clear trail. I'm going to go. Yeah, this seems to be some sort of trail. I could summon again. Oops! To my side! Good luck with that. <laughs> How's that going? Uh, oh, they unsummoned. <laughs> I can only get so much distance from them, I guess. Did I lose more mana when they unsummoned? What happened there? Whoa, gross. Slimes. Uh, ooh, 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 slowing down. Hi, slimes. Uh, I'm just gonna... Whoa, the bird is still coming! The bird is still happening! This is a cliff. Can I go down it? I don't, ooh, I don't know if I can go down this cliff. Oh, no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, the bird is still happening. <laughs> the bird is still happening. I thought the bird was over. thought that was the end of the bird, but uh, no. Okay, I think I can survive that. Yeah. And then down the hill. Okay, ah, uh, dogs. Never mind, saw an item. Can't slow down. Is the bird still happening? What do we think about the bird happening at this point? Hey, look, the sky stopped being red. That's, that already makes me feel a little better about life. The music is unclear. Okay. Yeah. I, okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. I mean, good. We're, I, think we're, I think we're back in places that aren't blighted by horrible crimson death. Uh, and that's... I'll take it. Limgrave. I know that place. I've been that place. That's, that's the place I came from. I, what, why can I not... I'm having trouble two-handing my sword? I'm two-handing my shield. Am I? That's definitely not what I'm intending to do. Okay, whatever. Oh, it... What? Sorry. Sorry, folks. Just slowing down for a second here. Yeah, my, my shield is in my left hand and my sword is in my right hand. Okay. Uh-huh. And so can I two-hand my sword? Okay. I guess so. Huh, okay, well, anyway. We're back in Limgrave. Hooray. So, can we find a fire here? Yeah, okay, I can still two-hand my sword. Uh, for some reason, when I'm on horseback, it seems like I, my two-handing controls are kind of inverted. I don't know why that would be. Oh, man. This place is, this place is nice. So, let's look at the map. How close are we to home? Pretty close. Not very close. Summon Water Village. It, it sounds like a place that might not be overrun with monsters. Is that too hopeful of a way to think about life? What's that? What? What's that? Oh, it's another one of those imp statues. Uh, and a cave. <laughs> That's this is it's a uh, it's a little cave like this got me into this mess. Behold, dog. No, I'm not going to use... I think I have one now, but I'm not going to use it on this one. But noted, I have one here. I guess I should leave a marker, right? Sorry. Bump my back there. Uh, yeah, that's here. Uh, marker. Marker. 
Is there one for... I guess I'll put a box. That makes sense. Um, okay. So it seems like this village has been flooded. Oh man, it's so pleasant here. There's a sun again. Uh, I don't see any... anybody, friendly or enemy. What killed you? Uh... Oh. That guy doesn't look very friendly. Is he coming this way? Is he friendly? What is that? That's interesting. There's like a little pushboat guy in this water. He's ominous. But like there's just him. Uh Nope. The Tibia Mariner. Oh, and he teleported over there. Okay, so this is some sort of boss. <laughs> now I know. And he seems to be turned on to my existence now. Although he immediately teleported away, as far as I can tell. So I, maybe he doesn't want to fight me. Uh, okay, so it seems like there are enemies in this water. Just basic undead, I guess. Looks like they might be the kind of guys I fought before that kept getting up. I still don't know what the solution is to that problem. Or are they the forearmed guys? No, they have sides. These guys are new to me. Okay. Um, well, we haven't quite completed our quest to get back to places that we've seen before. We are in... What do you call it again? <laughs> La Lancia, Lacernia, look something. We're, we're back in this place, Grassland, place where there's grass. Uh, but okay, so if I go sort of due west and then southwest, can I circumnavigate this town without having to go through the swamp? Hey, the chinchillas are back. <laughs> Still confused by them, but I like them. Hmm. This is a nice little bird's eye view of the town. Yeah, there's a big structure in the middle. This place looks cool. Come back. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I hope this episode's entertaining for the folks at home, you thousands of people. Wow, look at that. Um, because, you know, to me, exploring is an important part of the game as much as battle, and that's uh, apparently there's a whole heck of a lot to, of exploring to do in this game. Again, I heard it was, like, bigger in terms of its, a little more open in terms of its design philosophy, but I didn't really, didn't really understand that we are... I mean, it's really a go-anywhere kind of atmosphere, I guess. Again, it... <laughs> It sort of felt the need to prove to me when I started going off the beaten trail. It's like, oh yeah, you can go all the way over here. Because uh, I, admittedly, I was kind of testing that. I thought I was probably in some sort of like, you know, baby zone. Like in um, Knights of the Old Republic where you're only on one planet for the first like three hours of the game. Kind of assumed that I wouldn't be able to get out of the like vague area I was in. But I very much can. As we've seen, I can be, I can be pretty wildly different climbs. Um... So I might want to just cut off the road here. So I feel like probably if I keep following it, I'm going to eventually end up on the cast, like passing by Godric's castle before I pass to where I've been, right? Uh, hmm. Well, let's just keep climbing this mountain and see what we can see from the top of it. Might, uh, might regret that if I can't find a way down the other side of it, but ooh. Oh, there's a bridge. Probably something guards it, though, right? So that'll be, uh... This'll be your bridge, then, sir. That'll be... That'll... Yeah, something tells me... He cares about who crosses the bridge. 
and he does something about it if you try to do that. And something tells me just riding my horse real fast, although it has served me pretty well in a lot of situations, may not be the panacea to that one. Uh, okay. Well, I can, I can back up here without... Oh, Jesus, yeah. I <laughs> uh, wasn't sure. Um, okay, well... How are we for time here? Uh, okay, well, I mean, we're, we're nearly home, but I, I don't want to hang this thing up until we've really gotten somewhere where I feel like I have a firmer grasp on where I am. Uh, and I don't have the glider yet. There's got to be a glider, right? Uh, uh, um, okay, so I just have to find a way to kind of like safely descend this thing. Because I still haven't found a fire since I've gotten back to this area either. So yeah, I just don't feel like I've got a foothold yet. And I can't, I can't just hang it up here on the assumption I'll figure that out next time. Uh, is something moving that tree? No, just the wind. Okay, well this is getting me down so to speak. I'm, I'm reducing my elevation, which is my main problem here. I need, I need less elevation. I have way too much of it. Uh, can I get... I think I can get down to that valley without killing myself, and then that'll get me the rest of the way down this mountain. If, if I can get up here. Is there a way... Is there a way to, yeah. There's a bear over there. Cool. There are multiple bears. I don't usually pack animals, bears, but we got two of them. Uh, I don't really want to fight them. Are they going to attack me? That's, that is not as bad, like, bear information. Bears are not... I mean, I guess if I... Maybe this is their den, so to speak. They don't seem to have... I don't know. <laughs> but maybe, but... I guess I'll... I, I haven't tested to see how aggressive they are, because I'm pessimistic about how this game will have tuned their aggression levels. Something tells me they'll be more aggressive than I want them to be. Uh, okay, can I keep getting down this way? Kinda, not really, kinda. Kinda, not really? Okay, I... Hold on. <laughs> hmm. I, there's got to be a survivable descent around here. I think that a lot of this might be. I'm just, like, not confident. I still haven't really found that threshold. I've had falls that kill me and falls that don't. Finding that sweet spot has still not been, uh... Not been easy. That, see, like, that, that message there seems to be pointing out that that rock is tall. And I agree, it is a tall rock, which probably means... Yeah, here we go. Okay. Suffering? No, I'm fine. Dead end, yeah. Cliff ahead. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, we found a safe way down. Yeah, oh wait. Is that the same... Hmm. If that's the same bear pool we saw before, then this isn't actually going to get us low enough. Uh, but that's going to get us the wrong way. So we're going to go this way. Let's find out. Did I just go a long way to get to where I already could get to, though? I don't really think I want to go... Ah, fucking bugs. Does the fire keep you away? Somebody tells me it might. I have a feeling. Ah, oh. Oh, this is new. Smithing stone. Aha! A fire! A fire! We'll take it. We'll take it. At this point, we'll take it. Okay, bug. You know what? I know- I have your number. <laughs> I fought you before. You ain't nothing. <laughs> ah, oh man. Yeah, we're back in new bland again. Ah, that feels good. <laughs> ah, and now we are back in new bland with like... So many smithing stones. Just just the most of them. So let's have a little looky. Okay, so yeah, we're... If I look southwest, I get on this rock, and I point my telescope at a way, I think... I think... Yeah, okay, so that's got to be the lesser tree... That was like underneath the ones that I was. Okay, uh, let's 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 climb that next hill. Come on, just the bear went over the mountain and all that, right? We gotta we gotta see what we can see. I think that if I go over one more hill, basically I'll see home. Oh oh, torrent! I'm so excited. Aren't you excited, torrent? We're home, torrent. We're home. 
I knew we would be. I knew we would get back again. I knew this day would come. Remember Invisible Guy? Remember Giant Black Knight that kills us? Oh. All the old stomping grounds. All our old pals. I wonder what Calais has been up to. Probably sitting next to a fire. Uh, so I'm going kind of, am I going, am I still going southwest? I'm going kind of southeast. No, I'm still going the right way. Uh, aha! Is that, no, that's not Black Knight. Excuse me, gentlemen. I think that this bridge might lead me somewhere that I want to be. I think that guy might chase me. He does have a horse. Yay, there it is! There it is, there's our home. Our home, the tomb. Our birth tomb. That what gave gave life to us. Have I lost horse man? I've lost horse man. We're back, and this is the swamp that caused our exile to begin with. Look at that, folks. We're finally home. Let's get a little telescope out. There's there it is. There it is. Our old starting point. Our yay. We did it. Yay. Oh, I'm so happy. Torrent. <laughs> Torrent turns with my telescope. Uh, yay! We're home! Oh, God. Oh, Toto. Oh, I'm just so happy. Oh. Okay. Well, thanks for joining me, folks. And, and never forget, any mistake can be rectified with enough elbow grease and, and dying. Uh, see you next time. And we're back. All right, sorry about that. I, it, this will be a fun novice editing trick for me, that I, or um, test for me to, to stitch these together. Um, my little timer went off, but I was forgetting this. This isn't a half episode. This is a proper episode, and we're, that's why we're going to get some combat in it. This is uh, this thing isn't over until we've actually fought something, because God knows I'm tired of running through things too. Oh hey, I don't think I've activated this yet, so I just will do that. Uh, I don't think this isn't a side I've approached this. Oh, this is a side I've already approached the swamp from. Oh, then I'm very much somewhere I've been before. Um, but yeah, we got a. We're gonna use all of the resources we have gained. We are gonna power up our little sword here, and we are gonna take the fight to some old enemies who used to seem pretty damn scary. But after all the places we've been and the things we've seen, nothing scares me anymore. Onward. Sorry, brief pause. Uh, but yeah, yeah, let's, uh, no, not in the hole. I've learned my lesson now. Still on zero souls, but <laughs> let's not jump in any holes. We just got back. Ah, oh, oh man, all the old places. Vere, I'm even kind of happy to see you. Oh man, you wouldn't believe the things I've seen, man. Anyway, maybe you would. Yeah, maybe you would. <laughs> I don't know where you're from, but, uh... Excuse me. I'll be with you in a moment. Yeah, three guesses what, uh, what wrongs we're going to right today. What un... Climbable mountains, we're gonna summit. Calais, how you been, bro? Oh man, oh god, it's been a day. Alright, so, uh, this is the one that we've enchanted. I don't actually like it better than the default, though, and we can always switch this thing out. We can always turn it into that, or into a quality enchant, or whatever. And we got a couple of smithing stones now, so I'm just gonna spend a few of them. Uh, is it only counting the ones I have in my box? How I'm just. The ones I don't have in my box. Let me just go through my stash here real quick. Oh! Hey, Marina. Forgive me. I've been testing you. Oh. To determine if the Elden Ring would truly have you. I thought you're not... If you had the metal to endure this long and arduous path. It seems my worries were unfounded. Torrent had your measure from the very start. Hmm. Whereas I merely pretended. There is but one other thing I can do to offer you guidance. I can take you to the round table hole. Gather what now? A place 
of tarnished champions, guided by grace. What, right now? I, what? I, uh, uh, we, uh, we just, no, no fear. We just got home. Alright, whatever. Being a hero is not about the familiar. I was just about to enhance my equipment there, Marina. I Alright. Wasn't precisely the moment I was looking to go somewhere new, but is this... Guided by Grace, combat is prohibited on the premises due to the impact of non-aggression. This rule is in effect when the roundtable icon is displayed. The roundtable table is located outside of this world and can only reach only through sites of Grace. So this is some sort of multiplayer thing, I guess. Okay. Cool. Is this like a lobby? Oh, hello. Oh, this is a rare occasion. I can't remember the last time a new tarnished made their way to the round table. Very well. As your senior, okay. I bid you welcome. It is safe here. You may let down your guard. Sure. Allow me a word of advice. As your senior, you are a mere visitor to the round table. Nothing more. A house guest. Yet to earn their keep. Hmm. Remember your place. Newcomer. Thanks, Elder. Uh, okay, so this is not just a multiplayer place. There's a bunch of people here. This is like a this is a place. It's like a, a new place. There's nothing left to say. Okay. Fire ahead. <laughs> I see it. Ah, hello. You must be new here. Hmm, you must be out of a JRPG. Well, I mean, so am I. Just call me Dialos. The honor of one's house holds little import in these lands. Hmm. By the way, have you met a young woman named Lanya on your travels? I don't think so. She's my servant, but fickle as the wind. Hmm. Take your eyes off her for but a moment, and she's good as gone. <laughs> okay. If you find her, please be sure to tell me. Uh huh. <laughs> that sounds annoying. And something tells me that. I may spend a lot of time looking for her in the future. Uh, nice, nice armor. Yeah, you're obviously a very fancy man, but I appreciate that you don't stand on titles. Be sure to tell me if you meet a young woman named Lanya. Yeah. She's a servant to my house. Right. She's been my companion since childhood. That's sweet. I've lost count of the number of times I've had to find her like this. Hmm. Honestly, she's such a little tomboy. I mean, okay. Uh, third, okay. Uh, another statue of this man with the staff and the vines. I, I wondered when I saw that one in the lands of hell if that meant we were close to where we had been once upon a time, but I'm not sure if that's true. This is like a recurring theme. This is some sort of person. Again, the same crested helm. This is some character from their cultural lore, I guess. Or something. It represents something. Uh, oh, hi. I don't believe we've met. We've not. I'm Uh -huh. Heed my warning. I don't know what that means. Those who live in death should be left well alone. I don't All the more should you spy a mariner among their number. What? Unless you wish to lay down your life in vain. Mariner? What are you talking about? Dude, uh, everyone, everyone in a From game is always trying to give you advice that's really hard to use. Those who live in death should be all Those alone. who live in death. And especially if they are with a mariner. Okay, I'll look out for that. Oh, I see you've just arrived. I see you're a prophet, I think. That's a talk. thing, right? In our in our world. I'm Corin, a man of the cloth. Okay, this is what I priests look like, eh? <laughs> That's creepy. The strength granted us by the two fingers. Okay. And explore the secrets of the golden order. So that one day, if a tarnished of the round table hold should become Elden Lord, I might counsel them. You teach ensuring order regains its proper form, writing rule over men. Mm. By the way, do you still see it? The guidance of grace. Yeah, all the time. It tells me to go in tons of directions. I 
Oh. I don't see why I would lie about that. It's the thing we all turn all us tarnished to, right? I do. What wonderful news. Most tarnished are blind to it these days. Are they? You are something of a rare breed. Am I? Well, what do you say? Care to learn an incantation of the two fingers? I thought that was just a thing tarnished did. That's interesting. Uh Huh. Okay. So you do teach incantations. That's fun. Uh, and you gave me something? I got plus one something there. I don't know what it was. Flame fortification increases fire damage negation. Increases damage, magic damage negation. Negates poison buildup and cures poison. Yeah, you teach spells. Heals HP for self and nearby allies. Well, I don't have enough faith to cast it, but I do have enough for urgent heal, which is a smaller one. I don't really think I want to start, like, picking up a lot of faith, but ooh, I could, <laughs> I could have a couple of spells. There's a ball of raging fire. These are these only require faith eight and ten. It's pretty low. I start with faith ten. I could have a fireball. Huh? 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 For eight hundred souls, honestly, I might consider it. It's not something I would use in in like a boss fight, uh, but it's something I might use in in a pole situation. It's nice to not have to carry around daggers for it. Um, still, I don't really want to divert my small mana bar away from my precious summons and my my focus abilities and stuff. I, I do like using it. I guess this means I might have to finally start carrying some mana potions. Uh, ooh. so I, I can come back here for this, though. This, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna crack my runes about it right now, but cool. I can level up spells now. That's a new option. We have opened up the option to learn magic. Faith magic, specifically. Oh, uh, hi. <laughs> Fun. Anything else? No? You don't talk. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, did I talk to everyone in here? I talked to you. I talked to you. I talked to you. I talked to that guy over there. Yeah. Yeah, I've talked to everybody in here. Ooh, you can walk on the table. That's fun. Uh, okay. Uh, I've tried to talk to you, but you won't talk. I think I saw somebody on this other side of the room over here. D oh, no, I didn't. Love ahead. Seek rump and then offer pickle. <laughs> I thought I saw somebody over here. Were they through this doorway? Where'd they go? Hello? D ah, ooh, ooh. Oh, it's more of those... They look like that, that witch lady we met, kind of. Uh, are you alive? Twin maiden husks. Purchase. Offer a bell bearing. Huh? Purchase. Oh. Uh, we're going to have to do a point five episode where we look at the descriptions of all of these many cool things I'm finding. I don't want to waste a lot of time with that because I'm still hoping to get... Uh, where are we for time? Yeah, I'm still hoping to get a fight with the, the, the tree guy. I, I assume I can come back here from a fire later, it seems like. Increased memory slots. Wow. Okay. So, wow. A bunch of interesting stuff. Rapier. Okay. Oh. 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 And the world just opened up in terms of weapons, though. Urgh. Now do I want to even want to spend anything on my, my sword? Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh. 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 I'm paralyzed with choice. Uh, this needs more decks than I have. This needs more decks than I have. So I might want to pick a couple of points of decks is what I'm learning here. Mace. Fun. I kind of like a stick. It's always nice to have a stick. You know, this is the only pole weapon they got. A spear will do. Uh, mm. It's nice to have a little reach. It's a very important thing in tons of scenarios. Um. Oh man, oh man, our options just opened up widely. Uh, and the, you know, and now we we find our true quest, which is like buying all of these weapons and giving them all a nice try. Offer a bell bearing. No barrel bell bearing to offer. Fair. Okay. I, th I thought maybe those bell flowers I've been picking out might count. Why is it always enemy? There's no one enemy here. Everyone here is perfectly chill. I, I could have sworn. Did I... Am I imagining it? I think maybe that stack of books kind of look like a person. Yeah, I must have just been imagining it. Uh, okay, there's still a couple of ways to go here. Wow, a bunch of ways to go here. Piercing required ahead. Uh, whoa. A lot of people have died in this room. 
Hmm. There's the Erd tree. There's... I guess that's Queen Merica, possibly? There's... Someone who I'm not sure who they are. Looks like a man. Uh, and then I guess that would be the king. Oh, no, wait. Is that the Beast Lord guy? Read message. Seems familiar. Yeah, is that the Beast Lord guy from the intro? Okay, I can't get down from there. I hear clanging. Oh. <gasps> oh, looks like we finally met our smith. Wow. Uh, he's not... Okay, <laughs> so... <laughs> again, let's call odds on his name. Arnie, Army... Ar Ar Arno. No face. No matter. It's all the same. Lay out your arms. Let's get Smithy. Let's. Ash of War duplication. What? Huh? Why would I lost Ashes of War? Why would I do that when they don't run out when I use them? Hmm. About the chains on my legs. I see you've noticed the chains. Oh. Nothing special. I'm a prisoner and these are my chains. I didn't notice your chains, I'm but trapped by the hold. I'm dying, smithing for you fools. I just noticed the con the <laughs> dialogue true. option. Alright. You're a prisoner, right? Eh? Don't read too much into it. Well no grudge against you. My being a prisoner is no fault of yours. Are you one of those stone guys Inside. that I was in the cave that before? You look like them. Despite my differences, the weapons get stronger all the same. Even time. Technique never fails. Besides, it helps me forget. The sheer terror of her. Hmm. No idea what you're on about. Strength and armaments. Finally. This is what we've been trying to get around to over here. Um, I still don't know where my smithing stones went, though. Can I, can I get to a fire here so I can just check that they're... Is, is it only using the ones that I've already boxed? Because I have... I have a bunch of them, like, on my person right now, don't I? Where'd they all go? Yeah, seven. I have seven smithing stones. Oh. Oh. They have the same name, but these are different. They're bigger. Oh, okay, so I've been getting smithing stones I can't actually use yet. Uh-oh, okay. Well, sorry, folks. <laughs> I mean, at this point, God, I've almost used up all of the time I was going to use to fight that guy. So I'm sorry, it looks like we are going to spend this episode just, like, shopping and investigating this place. Because apparently, I'm going to want to do a little bit of off-camera shopping before I repair, uh, upgrade anything. Because instead of having an enormous surplus of smithing stones, I've got an enormous sur surplus of smithing stones that I will not need until I am several levels from now, presumably. Um, which is great. Kinda. It's less, kind of less good than I thought. Kind of more good. Depends on how you look at it. Uh, but it means that, uh, means that for now I am just taking in this place. So, um, yeah, sorry. Kind of a low, low combat episode. High exploration, though. Tons of new environments, which is exciting for me. Maybe not for you, the viewers. Sorry if I'm being a little, like, quiet and gormless here. I'm just trying to take in the, the environment, figure out. Okay, so... Yeah, here's the Erd tree again with all the corpses hanging in the branches as they do. Not here. What do you mean, not here? Ah, another one of these things. Well, there's no point in dropping a marker. Actually, speaking of which, am I even on the map? Kind of no. Oh, well, okay. So it just sort of exists in this negative space. All right. This door is not openable. This door is not openable. Um, so yeah, if this is a meeting place for the Tarnished, I kind of thought this would be a multiplayer something, but I'm not sure if it is now. I'm not sure if this has anything to do with multiplayer. Honestly, not clear what any of this is now. No head ahead. I don't, whatever. Uh, yeah, I'll probably do a little more. <gasps> oh, oh, someone over here. Do I know you? I don't think so. Greetings, great champion called by grace. That's what they call me. I mean, you're the first one to do it, but... have compelled my stay at the round table hold. Hmm. Great champion, would you allow me to hold you? But briefly, perhaps uh. you might share with me some of your lifely vigor and your stout-heartedness. Doing so will grant me the warmth of a champion. And you, I am 
I'm sure will bear a Balderkin's blessing. I don't know what Do that means. Her, perhaps. What? Where I come from, it is a sacred act. Oh. Oh, well, I mean, when in Rome, I mean, this is your place, and... Uh, sure, sure. Uh, but give me a hug. My thanks, great champion. Yeah, I'm not... Yeah, hey. Good vibes. Friendship. G give me, give me, give me cuddles. Aw, this is... Yeah, that's wholesome. It, do I see... You are very... Yay, Baldekin's blessing. Okay. So wait, okay, so what two things have popped up inside you was a Baldekin's blessing. Okay. Though it is but a fleeting thing, I am afraid. Come hmm. back to me. Should you require another, hmm. I will take you in my arms as often as you need. Thank you. Maybe I should read the description of that. Does it do anything interesting for me? Okay, thank you. Oh, well, you're friendly anyway. I appreciate that. Uh, uh, is that my inventory? There it is. Yeah. Uh, Baldigan's blessing uses FP temp to temporarily boost poise. Favor bestowed on death by companion. Protect protection of a hidden temple in the guise of a bedchamber. Oh, is that this room? Uses FP to temporarily boost poise. The favor allows one to forget any aches and pains. In death, there is only peace. For in death, there can be no sensation. Uh, okay. Uses FP to temporarily boost. So do I, do I, do I equip it like an item? Huh. Well, we'll look into that momentarily. All right, we found these on the way. Sparkles of light may be mistaken for an object of value when seen from afar. It cannot produce light by itself, especially, essentially worthless. <laughs> oh, okay. So these are just fake glint stones, basically. Um, but didn't I also get another one of those? As oh, right, I have one of these seeds. I should remember to use that very soon. Uh, didn't I? I feel like I got another weird little plus one item when I arrived here, but I don't see anything. I don't recognize in my inventory, so I don't know. Hmm. What are you up to, Elden Ring? What's going on in the background here? Um, okay, so, so, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's, let's see here. Can I, can I equip this thing as an item? I can. Okay. FP to boost poise. I guess that's kind of good. It's not really something I would use in a lot of situations, but anyway, it's, it's nice to have, I guess. I appreciate that. Thanks, lady. Um, FP to boost poise. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Anyway. Um, how long does it last? Do I only get to use one use of it? Oh, we'll, we'll find out, I guess. Apparently, I can get more of them for free, so that's cool. Uh, and then there's a door. Does this take me home? The door is blocked shut. It doesn't take me home. Am I... Am I a prisoner here? Uh, no one explained to me the in and out mechanism for this place. Anybody? No? Uh, alright, well... <laughs> I don't know, this is just me being dumb. And it's supposed to be... Uh, uh, I mean, I would just be like, well, tune in next time on working project title. Now that, you know, this, look at that. It's even a nice little silhouette, but, um, here I am in this safe, but am, am I, am I allowed to, am I allowed to go? <laughs> am I allowed to go from here? Let me just, let me just kind of figure out if I'm allowed to go <laughs> before I, I end this episode, but, uh, otherwise we may once again be ending an episode of Working Project Title stranded somewhere where we don't know where we are and why and how to get out of it. I can jump over that, but I feel like that would be the death of me. Uh, maybe not. Is it... 
tune in next time again on Rookie Project Title? Surely not. Surely not. Surely... Okay. Lady lives in there. Uh, stairs go to fog wall that I can't open. This door... This door does not open either. Motherfuckers put me in a place with no door. I guess... Oh, okay, I, I just fast travel out. Oh, okay, well... Huh. <laughs> God damn it, Elden Ring, have you finally beaten me? No. Well, tune in next time to Working Project Title, Where Dreams Go to Die.